All right, what's up guys? So, uh, this video, I'm gonna be putting a table, like it's a small table, but I'm gonna be putting like this small table uh, together. And then also kind of giving y'all a story time about how I personally believe somebody at uh, FedEx had stole a pair of shoes that I ordered. And the thing is, it's like, it's not like they were some like high end shoes. It wasn't like that they were like, you know, some Travis Scott ones or some like Virgil, like off whites or none. They were like Zion twos. <laughs> they, they, it was a fancy colorway, but like I'm saying, I've seen quite a few pairs of shoes. Like pretty much, I'm trying to think of like a pair of shoes. I have to say like, even though like Zion shoes are more expensive than Air Forces, like Air, like, a, like let's say like a white pair of like Air Force ones, I think a white pair of Air Force Ones would be more like it's it would be more viable than a pair of Zion 2s and stuff. And I posted online like what they are, but it's like these brown and it has like all these different colors, but like the primary color is like brown and stuff. So anyways, I ordered the shoes uh, during the time when I had COVID for those that didn't know. Um, I had COVID and so I was like, okay, well, I can't go out and do no shopping. I might as well, uh, you know, do some online shopping. So anyways, decided to do some uh, online shopping. Maybe I should like look at the instructions because I really don't know how this table goes together and stuff. So, but um, anyways, all right. Okay, I, I, I think I know that, you know. Oh, I think so this um stuff just like screws in. Okay. Okay, so let me just go ahead and take all the stuff out the box. But so, anyways, um, so I ordered a pair of shoes. I ordered a couple of pair of shoes, um, you know, through FedEx and Adidas. And if you wanted to see what the shoes look like, I posted um how they look uh on um Instagram. And uh, yeah, you know, it was a pair of Yeezy 380s. Uh, what else? Um, oh, and then the um the Zion twos and things. So, anyways. I ordered the uh, shoes, and I know, like, so FedEx, and not FedEx, um, Adidas had reached out to me and was like, oh, you know, the shoes are going to probably be a little bit um, delayed, so, uh, you know, because it's a lot of, like, orders coming in right now, so I'm like, all right, that's, you know, that's chilled, I understand, it's the summertime, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, you got, like, kids that's going to school, and of course, they want, like, the latest, you know, Adidas or whatever coming out, I'm chill with that, I'm fine with that, so, um, anyways, so that's that's Adidas. Adidas is out the clear and stuff. Now it's back on Nike. All right. So they had kind of like had took some time with delivering the shoes. And I know it wasn't nothing from a uh, Nike side because I'm like, they've, they've never have messed up with shoes. I've never heard them saying like, oh, people had to, I mean, and you know, it could be true. It could be where people had to wait a long period of time to get their shoes. But I'm like, what I'm about to tell y'all, I'm like, I know overall it wasn't a Nike issue. This was a FedEx issue. So anyways, so they did kind of like take a little bit uh, longer than usual to deliver the shoes. Uh, to deliver, I heard, like I thought I heard some. But anyways, they had, um, I thought they took a little bit longer um, than usual to order the shoes. I'm like, I'm not tripping about that. I've waited a long period of time to like order stuff before. So I'm not tripping about it. So get this, like all this paper stuff out the way. Because I'm like, this stuff is, like paper is loud, bro. But anyways, I didn't think this stuff was going to be plastic. Hopefully it can like hold and things, but so anyways, um, so, all right, let me see how this goes. So I think they're like all the same. Yeah. They're like all the same size kind of these like table pieces and things. It's been a while since I put some stuff together and I really don't particularly want to like mess up or anything. So they should have like, so this is a, a, they all say a. I think they all like say A and stuff. I should have put this together in my room because it's like all these like little white pieces and things. But anyways, um, so I go and order the shoes. Uh, they're going through FedEx, of course. And I'm like, how I'm like getting like distracted. I'm like trying to put a table together and then like tell y'all a story. So anyways, so um, I order the shoes. Uh, they say that they um, were like shipped and that they were out and about and stuff. So it gets to the day of where they were supposed to like um, come to my house. 
the shoes uh overall are like in the area i think there's like that's what they are or out for delivery out for delivery so the shoes are out for delivery they don't show up and then eventually it got to a point where they said that it was going to be delayed so i'm thinking i'm like all right you know that's that's okay that's chilled i'm not gonna you know trip about that i'm like i've overall have like dealt so i think this goes underneath hold on for a second let me see how this works oh so you just like kind of like twist it or something oh, okay that's that's chill that's a good way of like putting this together and stuff so anyways they say that they um got delayed so i'm like all right you know they most likely just show up tomorrow i'm not tripping about that so anyways tomorrow shows up i still don't hear or see anything from uh, fedex and then the next day i get an email from nike saying that the uh shoes um were uh that they were coming back and then fedex had um they showed on the website that the shoes were damaged so i was like dang man you know that's messed up it's like i really wanted these shoes and things i'm like i can't even get them now so anyways then sometime after that i'm so no yesterday yesterday this is um this is when it had happened when they nike has sent me an email saying like thank you for your order so i'm thinking somebody then like stole like you know then went on my account and ordered some stuff and i'm like what what do you mean thank you for the order and i'm like i know they can't be talking about them zion uh twos so i go on the website and look sure enough they're talking on the zion twos so at that point i'm like i'm flipping out because i'm like okay i like i checked by my front door like three different times to just make sure of it, like, okay, like, let me, you know, check and see. And so that's why I'm, like, doing this, uh, you know, putting this table together because who I ordered through um, was Amazon. Now, with Amazon, when they deliver, they usually will take a picture of your, like, you know, front door area to show you, like, all right, we delivered your package or whatever, right? Why can't FedEx do that? You know, like that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why can't they not do that? And instead, they just, they send you this like, you know, some email talking about like, oh, like, or not email, but they have it on their website saying that the shoes um, were delivered. And I'm thinking to myself, when? When was these shoes delivered? Because maybe this is the wrong. These are like the same size. So I don't know how they could be wrong. All right, anyways, whatever. But I'm like, I'm saying though, I'm like, how how is that even possible? I'm like, that just doesn't make any sense to me if the shoe, if you guys say that the shoes was damaged and now all of a sudden they're delivered, I'm like that, no, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not hearing that. So I'm like, yeah, I think this is a good size. I'm like, I don't know what this is like. They sent me an extra wood piece, I guess maybe in case like it gets messed up or something. But so anyways, so I, I go and I contact Nike because I'm like, no, something's not right with that. I'm like, that just doesn't even make any sense where they say that the shoes were delivered. And I'm like, but I ain't get no shoes. Like, I literally like, do you guys need to like see? Because uh, I'm saying I have. So like, if that's the case where they say that they that the shoes were delivered, then I'm like, I overall can check because I have um, security cameras on my uh, uh, like my house. I can check and show throughout the the day of when the shoes are supposed to show up and today that there wasn't no FedEx truck that stopped off in front of my house. So I have hard proof and I can show any and everybody that no FedEx uh, driver stopped off in front of my house. So that's where it leads me to believe that I personally think that somebody at FedEx seen that, oh, you know, this guy got like some Nike delivery and, he, you know, he's this guy most likely he probably and they yeah, and they guess right. They're probably all like, oh, he probably already has a, a, a cup of crap ton of shoes and stuff. So we just going to go ahead and just take these off his hand. And uh, yeah, just overall still him in things. I'm not with that. I'm not with. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like that. That's that's chill. I don't know why they sent me this like, oh, I guess like maybe to like put it up higher. I guess like if it um overall like because so the reason why I bought this table is because I got one of those like Logitech gear shift things because I have one of those like controllers, the steering wheel controllers and I wanted a gear shift. 
So like I guess like if that's like too low, I'll add like this that upper part and then just have it like off on the side and things. But but yeah, anyways, I'm like that just doesn't make any sense to me where they say that the shoes were delivered and I literally have proof that the shoes was never delivered. So FedEx. And then so here's the thing, because I that's another thing that I wanted to uh like see was a picture of the damage. FedEx never sent me a picture of any damage. So that's why I honestly believe that somebody at FedEx stole my shoes and they just pocketed it for themselves and was like, all right, you know, I didn't even need to look at these instructions. I'm like, that instructions was just, it's whatever. But anyways, yeah, I honestly do believe that somebody at FedEx had stole my shoes. And, uh, you know, overall, like the thing is, it's like, you know, God works in, you know, numerous and mysterious ways. Um, because uh, Nike, you know, they were nice enough to send me a replacement pair. So, yeah, because the original pair, they never showed up. They never came up. So, you know, I, I would assume that, like, yes, um, the people at Nike, they most likely felt sorry for me. And was all like, you know, it sounds like he really wanted these shoes. So, yeah, let's send him a replacement pair. And I'm like, you know, it's like it shouldn't even be up to Nike to do that. And I'm like, overall, like, you know, if FedEx just didn't hire people that was, you know, doing things, you know, stealing and stuff, then it's like, I wouldn't have to make videos like this, you know, put FedEx on blast. I'm saying like, you know, I've never had this issue with um, UPS, USPS, Amazon. I'm trying to think, have I went through any other delivery come? No, I haven't. And I never had an issue like this with FedEx. And then just out of nowhere, randomly, out the blue, you're saying that my shoes were damaged and then they were delivered. Why? Okay, so if that's the case, why would you deliver something that's damaged? I mean, overall, like, if, like, depending on what the damage is, I'm like, you know, if it's what? If it's, like, the, the, the Nike box, I don't care about that. I just want my shoes, okay? I'm not going to keep these boxes forever. Although the, uh, the Zion 2's box, it, it is nice looking. But I'm like, fam, if it's a toss up between the box or the shoes, I'm obviously taking the shoes. So, yeah, overall, uh, Nike, they were nice enough to send me a replacement pair. So shout out to Nike. But FedEx, I'm like, what you guys need to do is check your employees. Make sure they're not stealing. If they're not getting paid enough, start paying these guys enough so they can go out and get their own pair of Zion 2s. And they're not stealing mine. But yeah, anyways, um, you know, yeah, thank you for tuning in in today's, you know, building slash uh, story time. And uh, yeah, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, everybody, that tuned in today's video. My like, I'm going to, because I'm going to like end the video so y'all ain't got to see my like old man way of like getting back up because I'm like, my legs are just like straight. I'm like, bro. Like, it's like, it's like positions, you gotta like sit like this, so it's like, you know, the body can breathe better and stuff, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys later, thank you for watching, like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, uh, that's a stretch, and peace.